What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Kyle Pence. If it's your first time tuning in, please be sure to smash that subscribe button. If not, thanks for your continued support. Today I'm in my 2002 Saab 9.3 convertible and uh, I've been pondering the thoughts of making this video and if the title of the video hasn't given it away, then, uh, then I don't know what will. So here we are. We're going to talk about it. Let's hop right into it. So, 2002 Saab 9.3, this car is freaking awesome, it's been amazing the last six years. Uh, I rebuilt this car in the driveway, it was like my first engine swap build that I've ever done, potentially my last, and uh, no regrets, the car's been really good to us over the last six years, and I'm thinking about selling it. Um, the car's obviously not worth too, too much, um, in terms of functioning, everything works um, I'm gonna be replacing a starter motor and I'm gonna be replacing potentially the window regulator on the rear passenger side window because it kind of clicks but outside that um, the car runs pretty solid it's got a little transmission slip on the reverse but when the car is cold um, that reverse works perfectly I mean I wouldn't say it's uh, gonna carry the weight of the car up a, up a hill in reverse but it works on flat surface and you know obviously you know normal getting around in a parking lot even when the engines warm it does its job uh, it does it does slip a little bit in reverse though but outside that the car runs really smooth the car runs really well there's no uh, major oil leaks the transmission or excuse me the engine in terms of oiling, we've done all the seals over the last couple years. Um, we've done the axles. I've done brakes, suspension in the front, all of the suspension in the front. We've done every single. Um, we've done every single top line. I think every single hydraulic line for the top, so the top works perfectly. We've done the air conditioning compressor, so the air conditioning blows absolutely freezing cold like really really cold like super cold and um, we've also done the radiator along with all of the coolant hoses and thermostat and coolant sensor or thermostat sensor we've done all of that what else have we done we've done the serpentine belt and tensioner uh, what else have we done on this thing we've done everything guys literally everything we've done the fuel pump uh, the exhaust system works properly right now. No problems. We've done that. Um, man, what else can go wrong on a Saab that we've done? Oh, we've changed the uh, throttle body sensor. The throttle body went bad a couple years ago. I changed that out. The new one works. Man, besides that, I mean, obviously perfect maintenance. What else? There's got to be more than I'm missing here. There's got to be. Oh, man got to be a lot more a lot lot more <laughs> Jeez, we've done everything on this car uh, oh rear, I, I told you all the all the seals on the on this on the engine so rear main seal front seal oil pan valve cover gaskets man 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 I've got to be missing something because we've spent some money on this car over the last couple years but anyways the point of the matter is is I'm thinking of selling the car and uh, the first the first people that uh, should get first dibs is obviously you guys. So I, you know, these cars can trade right now anywhere from 25 upwards of even $5,000 depending on the the miles on the car. I mean, obviously we have 180,000 miles on this car. No oil lights or engine lights rather. And, um, you know, it's got some corks with the transmission, but you can get a new transmission for a couple hundred bucks and install it yourself or pay a local shop. And not, you know, you're looking at maybe 1200 bucks all in if you guys were to capture a decent deal on a transmission, something that's been tested and known to be working. And, uh, you know, you have yourself a beautiful, beautiful, fully functioning Saab 9.3 convertible with zero issues. Oh, the other thing, talking about transmission, We've done the transmission 
range sensor. That that was another one we did a couple years ago. That, that's another job that was done. And, and more and more, it'll just keep coming to me. But the point of the matter is, is this car is in top, 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 top shape. The tires are in good, rare, pretty, pretty new condition. It's got a lot of tread left. I'll, I'll give you guys a walk around tour when we stop driving. Front brakes were, are decent, and the rear brakes were just changed last year. And uh, we've only driven 10,000 miles on this car in the last two years, so not a lot of driving because of the conditions of the earth, the world, humanity. So um, that's that. So when I get, I'm gonna go fill this thing up with gas because I'm gonna drive it today and um, give you guys a tour of the interior and exterior. We'll do a quick walk around. So stay tuned and um, I'm not gonna name a price. I think whoever's interested should give me a price that they're willing to pay me and I will either accept it or deny it and uh, go from there because obviously I put a lot of money in this car and uh, I'm not really in any rush at all to sell it. If it takes me six months to sell it or a week to sell it or whatever it might look like, I'm not too concerned. So you guys, uh, you guys let me know what your thoughts are. You can either email me, my email is in the description or you guys can comment in the comment section and we can dialogue from there. But uh, yeah, no, no rush on the sale as this air conditioning blows freezing cold in this car and uh, the seats are comfortable. What can I tell you? Oh, we've changed the brake booster, <laughs> the vacuum pump, all the vacuum lines. Oh man, it, it, more will come. Yeah, that's just how it goes. So guys, I was also just thinking about what else I've done on this car since I'm about to show you a walk around tour. I've also done the power, the high pressure power steering line. Those are known to fail on these 9.3s and it's a big, big job to do. And I think I paid at the time somebody to do it. I paid a shop, so that was done. There you go, roof's down. Quick interior shot. Rear seats nice and clean. Got a sun windshield thing included here. Look at this thing. Beautiful car. Quick walk around. Car's a little dirty on the outside and obviously on the inside. In terms of the body, Decent shape here, little dinger here, not a big deal. Exhaust sounds good. Got the vegan exhaust muffler on. Couple little, one little scratch here, which could be filled in, actually cleaned up nice. Nothing else on this side. Front bumper was repla uh, repainted a couple years ago. We've done our badges. Oh, let me, uh, let me pop the hood. Really, really clean car, guys, for the age. Love this car. Under the hood. There you guys go. Nice, clean 2.0 turbo. Cool levels are good. To one of our new hoses we did. Brake fluid is good. So guys, that's the story with the Saab 9.3 convertible. It is a solid, solid car, minus a couple little flaws that I told you about, but I am gonna work on getting a window regulator in, and I'm gonna definitely replace the starter motor. It still works, but uh, you know, it's one of those things that if I can get one for a good price, might as well fix it. And uh, so anyways, you guys let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. You guys can shoot me an email. You can shoot me a comment below. Um, obviously, I'm offering this car for sale as of this video going live, but again, I'm not in any rush to sell it. So if you guys are um, 
thinking about giving me a serious inquiry, then obviously I'm open to hear it. And um, outside that, we'll see you guys in the next video. Please like, share, and subscribe. I know I will regret this one day, but uh, certain, th certain things are happening in life that uh, definitely need to prepare for. So stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next video.